Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. I know you guys can get us to 22,000, so please continue to subscribe and interact with our content. Hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, suggest something there and we'll say hi back and surely check out whatever you suggest there. Our second YouTube channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we've already put out and we'll be putting out. So today I'm going to be reacting to why Saudi kings are extremely scared of Imam Mahdi mm, this seems like it's going to be very very interesting so without wasting time let's get into the video Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters and welcome to Quran and Islam we hope you're preparing well for your akhirah Quran and Hadith have left us with some clear prophecies and signs about the end of times one of the most important prophecies in this regard is the appearance of Imam Mahdi and after him will appear the Dajjal. One hadith narrated by the great Sahabi, Thawban, may Allah be pleased with him, who narrated that Prophet ﷺ said, Three men will fight one another for your treasure, each one of them the son of a caliph, but none of them will gain it. Then the black banners will come from the east and they will kill you in an unprecedented manner. Then he mentioned something that I do not remember. Then he said, When you see him, then pledge your allegiance to him, even if you have to crawl over the snow, for that is the Caliph of Allah, the Mahdi. Now that many of the signs of appearance of Imam Mahdi has been fulfilled, an interesting situation has set up. The kings of Saudi can see these signs too, and they are trying their best to save and protect their rule. Let's see what these signs are and how the Saudi royal family is trying to cope with them. But remember, Brothers and sisters, absolutely no one can possibly fight or prevent what Allah has decided to do. As Muhammad bin Salman is taking all the steps to prevent it, people believe that the three brothers that will fight for rule according to the hadith have some connection with him. King Salman has three sons and rumors already tell us that he had appointed them to important positions to bring an end to their fight. The three brothers demanded their father to distribute his rule and authorities before dying. They could not wait to rule. Why is the Arab government, mainly Muhammad bin Salman, trying so hard to save the Saudi Arab? With the recent changes in climate, Saudi Arabia has also started to experience abundant rainfalls. In the city of Jeddah, for example, two major flood events have occurred only in the last decade. The country has been a desert for centuries. And since they weren't prepared for the rainstorms, the dams failed and floods happened. The Prophet ﷺ, while talking about the end of times, the final hour would not come until the land of Arabia reverts to meadows and rivers. These rainfalls also mean that the desert of Saudi Arabia is going to have greenery and plantations. Isn't this unbelievable? Michael Petraglia talking about the archaeological Green Arabia project says in an interview, We looked at satellite images and found that there are literally thousands of ancient rivers that crisscrossed Saudi Arabia. We also now count 10,000 ancient lakes. Civil war has been going on in Syria for the last 11 years and has destroyed a huge portion of the country. The Jews will take over all these areas including the areas and cities of Saudi Arabia. As the Holy Prophet Muhammad has said, when Syria gets destroyed, expect no khair for yourself. According to the Hadith, some powerful non-Arab countries will ban Iraq from trading and taking taxes close to the end of times. Roman countries will ban Syria from trading and it will eventually be destroyed. All these prophecies have been fulfilled to some extent and all of them point toward the appearance of Imam Mahdi. As predicted by the Hadith, there will be the downfall of the Arab countries by the hand of Jews, the present Israel. Medina will be the only city to contain and protect those with Iman. If you look at the present day scenario, the downfall of Arab countries has already started to happen. Transportation and industry has switched to solar and electric sources of energy and oil and petrol prices have declined in the international market. 
these Arab countries had nothing but oil reserves to rely upon. We see desperate measures in Saudi Arabia taken by the present government. They are making strong relations with Israel and the Western countries to trade with them. Muhammad bin Salman has changed the whole picture of Arabia in the face of the world. Music concerts, clubs, dance and signing shows on national TV, all of these are his way of telling the West that Arabia is ready to shake hands with them. Muhammad bin Salman has launched a mega project of developing a Neom city, a tourist destination of its own kind. It will help Saudi Arabia to stay connected with the world, have strong allies and make huge amounts of money to save their rule. All these drastic steps that he is taking shows us that Muhammad bin Salman is doing everything to save his rule. They know very well that Imam Mahdi will come and eventually take the lead. Before that, the Arab countries will face a downfall. But little does he know that what is detained to happen has to happen. No matter how many friends they make in the West or how many investors they bring into their country, the prophecies of Allah and His Messenger Muhammad وسلم, will come true. May Allah grant us the tawfiq to prepare well for the last day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. An interesting video and interesting point of view. Of course, for many years now we've been saying we're living in the end times. You know, slowly by slowly people are interpreting what's happening as, you know what, this was already spoken that it's going to happen and it's happening now of course events will continue to happen and people are going to be even more alert but when it comes but when it comes to the end times we all really don't know when the world will finally end it could be today it could be tonight i mean it could be tomorrow it could be 10 years from now people are going to get these signs and until that happens the only thing that we have is signs and people warning us that this is going to be because it's supposed to be. It's like saying what's meant to be will be. So, uh, and you can't avoid certain events in this world. As long as it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen whether we like it or not, whether we're ready or not. The best thing people can do is um, be alert, uh, be aware of your surroundings, also, I don't know, because you can't really be prepared enough for what's to come. The least you can do is have a relationship with God. And from there, God takes it upon him to see what happens to you and I. So that's what I have to say concerning this video. Uh, what are your thoughts, guys? What do you have to say about the contents of this video? Uh, your comments are always welcome. Comment down below. Please motivate me by giving me the name or the link to whatever you want me to react to and I'll check it out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.